Okay, here we have a mixer tap, uh, hot and cold with a shower unit in the middle. And if you pull the shower unit up, it stops dripping, if you can see that. I'm not saying it's the shower unit that's dripping. We don't know, because we live in a hard water area, so I'm going to take these apart and fix it with a bit of luck, and then I'll take you with me to show you how I did it. Um, <clears throat> I was going to turn the mains off downstairs, but when I put the bathroom suite in, I do remember putting in two isolation valves, which I believe are down here behind all my missus's rubbish. There's one. <laughs> And the other one should be behind there. There's the other one down there, just underneath. You, well, you can't see that, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'll turn off the cold one first because I've got a feeling that could be the one that's causing the problems. Because our pressure in the house is very high. And if you get a slight leak on some of these taps and they've got the rubber washer, if they've got the rubber washer in there, what happens is a tiny bit of grit gets caught underneath the washer and then it's like jet propulsion. It's like having your teeth drilled. It just works away at it and then makes a very very tiny hole uh, either in the rubber and it can also make a tiny hole in the copper seat that the rubber sits on if it's got this type so i'll let you know as i take it apart on these particular taps you look at the top you see a little red dot and a little blue dot you have to remove these to get to you want to really put your if you put your plug in even though it's leaking a bit you put the plug in if you drop anything down at least you're not going to lose it right so Oop. right what's in there right so it's cross thread so put these somewhere safe that one looks really loose look at this one i don't know why that's loose like that i'll have a look at that you didn't look at that it's bad Anyway, so let's, um, I'll get us cross it and we'll take them apart. Yeah, okay, look. Okay, very straightforward. Remember which is which? Yeah, that was just loose, that was. Because that'll go down tighter now. Turn off the. Oh, I'm trying to think which one it is. Hold on one second. If you can hear me, I. Oh, I don't know which one it is. Oh, well, I'll turn that one off first. Uh, that's a bit stiff. Okay, turn them off the best I can. So you'll need a wrench. tight. Oh my god. Let's give it a go. Oops. Have a look at this. All right, they're actually uh, inserts, and that looks pretty good actually. You can see that. Hmm. I'm going to try and get this red so I bet these snotty nose. Alright, go get the red one I'm done. That one looks alright, but it might not be. 
Oh, I never took that. Should have checked the seat. Right. Okay. Had a bit of trouble there because I can actually show you what has happened. I can't take the red one. I got the red one off, the hot tap off, which is causing the problems. And what it is, the, the seat in the hot water one, I'll show you this. I'll take the black hole away. I can show you better than that because it was pouring out everywhere. I couldn't isolate the hot water valve because it wouldn't turn off properly. Okay. On the red one, it's got a red seat like this. And what had happened, it had come out and the copper piece had moved and it wasn't sitting correct. So I put the copper piece back in again. Sorry, can you get that? So the copper piece had moved. So I reseated the copper and then reseated the seal. Like so. Now whether it'll last, I don't know. We might have to change the taps, I think. But it fixed it for now because it's pouring out. And then pop them back in. Tighten up. You don't have to over tighten. So I'm going to put some pressure on the other one. I couldn't even try to get some stillsons to get it off. So you don't need it massively because there's a rubber washer on there which is seal it. Okay, so just nice and tight. And yeah, stop the leak. There's no water in that one. Now, put this as it was. No, so it was the hot water one which was leaking, which I was surprised. And what it was, the uh, seal wasn't sitting properly. So, there. Hope this helps. Wasn't the best video in the world. <laughs> I had to put my hand here to stop the water from pouring out because I couldn't isolate the hot water valve down the bottom because like we live in a hard water area so everything seems to be bloody seized up all the time. Um, I'll pop the screws back in, put the two, the hot and the cold, the hot and the cold, stub back in so you can tell which is which and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.